Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Augusto Argandonia Fine Arts. Any time in the course of this narrated tutorial, you can click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And I would also appreciate your comments in regards to this particular video, or for that matter, any of the other videos in my channel. If you want to learn about my virtual classes or want to see my paintings, you may do so in my website at aafinearts.com. This tutorial is another one in my series of tutorials about watercolors, painting watercolors in 20 minutes. So um, without, much, without much ado, uh, let's just start with the fun part of, the, of this uh, tutorial. I'm gonna get uh, myself so twirly here. Okay, here we are. Get some paper towels. And um, here we go. This is a uh, particular image is uh, at uh, one of our state parks here in Sarasota, Florida. And um, took this photograph when I was, when it was uh, kind of stormy, just before a rainstorm. So that's what I'm gonna do, painting a, a very, uh, stormy looking sky. So I'm going to start by adding some water to the sky area. Quite a bit of water actually. Like this. Going over the areas where the where all this uh, vegetation is. So I've got to make sure that this in order to get the effect of the stormy sky this area has to have quite a bit of water, pretty much saturated, so uh, that's what I'm doing. So now um, I'm going to change brushes and with a larger, a number uh, 12, number 18 round brush, I'm going to do the sky. So I'm going to start by getting a little bit of cerulean blue into the this watery sky area for the distance, kind of light, not too much. Uh, I'm going to bring some cobalt blue as well, this area, like that. Not too much either, like that. Maybe a little bit more of the cerulean in this area. Let it blend it by itself, like that. Uh, now, I'm going to make a rich mixture of uh, brown matter and ultramarine blue. Very dark. Here we are. A little bit more ultramarine. More brown matter. The watercolors do dry much lighter than when they are applied, so have to compensate for that. And while the paper is wet, I'm gonna start laying in this, these colors. Leaving a little bit of a few areas of white, like that. I'm gonna bring more of the ultramarine. This time I'm gonna use um, some burnt sienna with that ultramarine. and with a little different type of gray. Paper is drying in those areas, so I have to move a little faster. Bring some of those colors over here too, like that. Uh, bring more of those colors. The burnt sienna and the ultramarine, very dark. And come over here and do a little bit more of that, the bottom of those stormy clouds. Like that there. A little bit of over here. And that's pretty much it. More ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna a little bit of the brown matter and come back and 
dark in some of this area because this is going to dry much lighter. Like that. Same thing over here, I'm going to darken this area a little bit more. Get a piece of hair there. Get rid of that hair. More ultramarine in this area. Like that. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna um, get rid of this uh, kind of purplish color. I'm gonna bring some cobalt blue into that area before the paper dries. That takes care of that, like that. Like that, there we are. Okay, uh, that's it for the sky. Let that dry. I like this kind of white area like that. In the meantime, while that's drying, I'm gonna add some water to the water area. Like this. Same thing that I did with the sky. There we are. And now, with a smaller flat brush, I'm gonna bring some of those colors. Same colors. In here. Like that. A little bit more ultramarine with the bronze sienna this time. More ultramarine, a little bit of paints gray, dark in some of these areas. A little bit more water in my brush, more ultramarine, and brown matter. Like that. A little bit more of the ultramarine here too. There we are. And that's about it for the water. While the paper is beginning to dry in the sky area, this is a good time, good time to, to do the, the foliage. I'm going to change brushes to a smaller round brush and I'm going to get a nice mixture of uh, aureole and yellow and raw sienna a little bit of undersea green there we are undersea green and uh, paints grey but mostly the Rosiana and the Aureole in yellow. And I'm gonna start over here and just barely touch the paper for those uh, areas where this vegetation will be. Some areas of my sky are still damp, so that's why the pigment kit tends to migrate into those areas. I'm going to bring a little bit more of the aureole in yellow over here. There we are, like that. A little bit of uh, the undersea green, some paints gray. And start doing some of the dark areas. Like that. Um, I'm going to clean my brush, bring some. Uh, burnt amber into that mixture with the aureole in yellow and the paints gray. And yeah, like that. There. A little bit more of the aureole in yellow in some areas over here. Oh, that was uh, I'll take care of that blossom a little later. Bring those colors right down to where this grassy area will be. Like 
it out a little bit more of the burnt amber with the paints gray, make a much darker green. Um, go over here like that. Get some shapes for some of those trees. Right down there. Same thing over here, I'm gonna darken some of these areas. And uh, this is almost dry. I'm gonna bring some some of the trees into that area like that. Like that, there we are. And uh, I'm gonna bring some CPM into that mixture and darken some of these trees a little bit more. Still wetting them against the, that sky, like that. Maybe some palm trees over here. Like that. Put another one over here. Like that. It's nice when you can still wet darker colors against lighter background like I'm doing there. And I'm gonna darken some of this lower area. Like that. There we are. So now, clean my brush. Get a uh, flat brush. Get a little bit of the um, raw sienna with the aureole and yellow. A touch of the blue that's on my palette, mostly the aureole and yellow, and do the grassy area that's over here at the bottom, lower part of this jungle, like that. Clean my brush a little bit, bring a little bit more of the raw sienna, mix there, get those grasses. Like that. There we go. Okay. I got another blossom over here that I'm going to take care of. So now, the, well, the paper is still kind of damp there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little bit more water to this area. Like that there. Here. Without touching that green. And bring it over here. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for the sheen to begin to dissipate uh, while it's air a little bit. I think I'm gonna take care of that while I'm waiting for this, that to dry a little bit more. Add some trees there. That takes care of that blossom rather nicely. There we are. There. And uh, so now before this dries, I'm going to get the same colors uh, of yellow and yellow. This time I'm going to bring some more of the paints gray on the on the sea green and I'm gonna tilt my brush or my paper a little bit and bring some of those colors into this wet paper over here like this for the reflections that. Bring it down here. Reflections from all of this. Bring some of that burnt amber mixed there. Under sea green and very strong paints gray. And here we go. Right by the edge of those grasses and bring it, bring those colors down downwards like that 
Same over here. Give a little bit of white there. It's a bit more aureole. And bring those colors right down. This is gonna be, has to be darker because it's gonna dry much lighter. And there we are. So now, bring a little bit more of the aureole and yellow into that mixture and drag this color down. And start doing some of the ripples in the water. too many. That's about it. And the painting is uh, just about done. I'm gonna add a little bit more maybe some sepia with the undersea green to this area, darken this a little bit more, these reflections. that darken this lower area over here and like that and uh, also I'm gonna darken this area a little bit more there we are and here and this reflections from the palm trees over there. Lastly, I'm gonna take my brush, get some of the blue and gray that's in my palette and add more, more of that color over here. It was too white there. Um, that's it for the painting. 20 minutes, what a color. The stormy sky over Mayaca State Park in the Sarasota, Florida area. I'm gonna remove this tape. I'm gonna minimize this image so you can see a little bit more of how I painted this. And excuse my hand, I have to remove this tape. There. Now, I'll minimize this, and there we are. I'm gonna bring a dark background, so it'll be much easier to see as against that white background. There it is, stormy sky, just before the drain at uh, Mayaca State Park in, in the Sarasota area here in, in Florida. Hope you enjoy watching this uh, 20 minute watercolor. Thank you for watching it. And please visit my website at aafinearts.com where you will see information about my virtual classes and the selection of my paintings, my originals and prints. Until next time.